Hey guys, what's up? My name is Naomi and welcome to my channel. We do makeup over here and I'm just kicking off Halloween, okay? We're gonna do kind of a response to one of my biggest videos on my channel. It is the CC Beauty body paint review. When I filmed that video, it was two years ago before I even started my body painting journey, I didn't realize or understand the differences between oil-based paints and water-based paints. So I want to talk about the differences between oil paints and water-based paints. And when I say water-based paints, I specifically mean the Meron water-based paints. This is the Maron Paradise AQ 30 color paint palette. Maron has like other palettes too, like smaller palettes than this. I thought this was a good investment for me personally because I know how much I love these palettes and too, these are like magnetic. You can pop out these individual cakes. I also really like the size of the new magnetic palette as opposed to the old one. Let me just do a comparison. It's a lot more compact, it's slimmer, it's sleeker. If you get these palettes in hand, you notice that it has a coconut kind of tropical scent. I find the smell very pleasant, but there is a coconut scent. To me, I'm just like, oh my God, it's, it's Halloween. That's what I think about the coconut scent. Also comes with a card like this. It's like the Maron Paradise AQ little card and it has the shade names on the back. Do not use blue or green on the lips. So don't use a blue or green on the lips. That's good to know. Do not use red, yellow, or orange in the area of the eyes. That's also good to know. So like I said, these are water activated paints. So if you touch them, like you, you don't really get a ton of pigment. That's not how you use them, like right out the rip. You have to drop some water onto the paints to activate it. So I wanna show you guys how these kind of work. We're also gonna do a demo where I'm going to recreate this pop art zombie look from Nicole Guerrero. I'm going to include clips from my oil paints video so you can see the side by side of where I am with the oil paints versus the water-based paint. Grab a snack, relax, subscribe to my channel, and definitely follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Everything is bunny and fawn right here. I'm going to do the swatches of the palette row by row so you can see how the colors look on the skin. I'm gonna do it montage style so it's more enjoyable for you to watch. So here we go with the swatches.
Okay, so now that we've done all the swatches, I've uh, cleaned up my arms. I'm going to take off this makeup and we're going to jump right into the demo for this look. Okay, so I just have washed off all my makeup and put some nails on because this is gonna be a pop art zombie. You know, zombies always keep their nails done. <laughs> you don't wanna put moisturizer or primer on after you wash your face because I found that these paints actually adhere really well when your face is completely like bare. No primer, no moisturizer, just your skin. Just wash your face with your regular cleanser and then start painting. That's like kind of the vibe. I'm going to follow Nicole Guerrero's tutorial like bit by bit. We're gonna do kind of a time-lapse situation. Let's just get right into this. On the left hand side of the screen is the oil based paints and then on the right hand side of the screen is going to be the water based paints, the Meron paints. I'm using a white concealer to prime my lids and I'm going to add color to my eyelids using an eyeshadow instead of using the paints. Just in case there's any issues with these paints, I don't want them near my eyes, just in case. You can see on the water base side, I need to double up with the paints because it's a pastel paint, it's lightly colored. So you need two coats, but as you can see on the oil base side, I'm like, you know, right out the gate, it's super saturated, super bright. So that's something to note about the difference between water-based and oil-based. On the water-based side, I'm gonna be using a cream paint to paint the teeth. And this is just because I know I'm gonna be filming a lot of TikToks, a lot of lip syncing videos after this. And I don't want the water-based paint to flake off or crack. And using a cream paint is gonna be a lot easier for around the mouth area. The more details I add to the oil-based side, the muddier the face paint seems to be getting. And then you can see on the water base side that the lines and the detail work stays really crisp and clean. See on the oil base side, I tried to create a gradient using eyeshadow, but the paint didn't dry fully on the oil base side, so the eyeshadow just kind of sat there unblended like a line. I just want to show you guys that I completely panned the blue shade. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. This is the coverage of like one cake of one of these um, Meron paints. I can do just enough for, I would say like an Instagram picture. It's about like from the chest up maybe. If your character has like more coverage than this, you would probably want to get more paint. So luckily I have replacements. This is like from last year. So I'm gonna just pop it in. You can get these separately. So that way you don't have to like, you know, rebuy this palette every so often. So this is the Meron Paints in light blue. Now it looks like this. So I'm gonna pop this out. So just took that out, getting my new replacement. I'm gonna pop that right into place. There we go, that was actually really easy. I'm gonna keep on going, finish up the zombie, let's like get this going. I'm about like five hours into this, so I'm a little bit pensive. I'm taking a densely packed brush and going in with a really bright eyeshadow and just like contouring the paint with the eyeshadow. Okay, so I just put on the jacket that I wore in my video that I did two years ago. So this is the finished look of the zombie, the pop art zombie with water-based paint. I'm gonna slide over right here so I can show you guys. Just look at the difference between like this zombie and the zombie. There's so much of a difference. I feel like the details are more crisp. There is like more of a pop art effect rather than kind of like a soft focus effect. And that's because water-based paints are really good for like those crisp details. I know how uncomfortable I was in this video right here where I'm talking about the oil-based paints. And you know, oil-based paints, they're good for if your look has like a lot of like gradients. So like for example, when I did my Lisa Frank Catwoman look right here, I used oil-based paints because there were like lots of colors that blended in with each other. And I also had a bald cap on. So oil-based paints are 
are really good for like painting bald caps or SFX like little appliances like devil horns things like that I remember this night even though it was like in 2019 I remember what it was like trying to remove the oil-based paints and I felt like I was just like smearing it all over my face I had cold cream makeup remover oil free makeup remover oil makeup remover I tried olive oil I tried soap I tried like makeup wipes I tried everything that night it was like a two hour process to take off my oil-based paints. Definitely look at Instagram and TikTok to see, you know, how the look looks on those platforms because I have like a whole new outfit that I'm gonna wear but I'll show you guys the removal process. Okay, so I'm back. I decided not to film myself removing the makeup. It looked like something I didn't want to put on the internet, so I decided not to, but I'll just show you guys what I used. I first started with this Sweet Almond Cleansing Balm. This is an oil balm, Circular Motions, and then I just wiped it down with a wet wash rag, basically. A pro tip for taking off your makeup, especially face paint, you want to do it outside of the shower because when you use like an oil balm plus the face paint and you're in the bathtub, the oil and the paint just like sticks and clings to the tub and it takes forever to get clean Trust me, I've done it before. Do as much of the removal process as you can outside of the tub. After this, I just did a, like, just a regular wash with my regular face wash. And I am currently using the La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Plus Wash, the Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. So it's just like my regular face wash. You can use whatever face wash that you have at home. So a little bit left over. So I took what I could off with the oil-free eye makeup remover. This is the Target brand. There is a staining underneath my eyes, but if you guys remember, I used Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette, like these like hot red shades like under my eyes, and that always stains my eyes, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I put my skincare on. It's a lot better than the removal process of the oil paints. That alone is like why I prefer water-based over oil all the time. Hopefully this video explained like how great I feel that the water-based paints are, especially the Meron Paradise paints. For the past like two years, I've been using these Meron uh, water-based paints and I love them. I feel like they're super vibrant, super easy to work with. Definitely follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Everything is Buddy and Fawn right here. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens without no blush. You can do better.